Hi, uh, this is Avi from Periphery um, at uh, NAV Show New York live. We are starting the webinar. We have with us uh, various team guests. Uh, we have Mark Anderson from Seagate. We have Seth Cohen from Periphery. And we are about to have another joinee, our, our uh, chief of products, Jonathan Morgan, uh, who's trying to log into the webinar as we speak. Um, Today, we are going to talk about an exciting partnership that Seagate and Periphery have um, already established. We are excited to have this partnership with Seagate um, and talk about some of the uh, new and emerging technology <clears throat> technologies we are <clears throat> excuse me, shipping together and bringing to market for our customers. Um, myself, Abhi, Abhi Day, I run as the GM and Chief Operating Officer of Periphery. Periphery is a business unit within Data Core. And we have established businesses in US, Americas, LATAM, and Europe. Um, I run as the GM for the Periphery Business Unit. With me, we have Seth. And without further ado, I want to get on to the introductions. Um, so let's let me introduce you, introduce you to Seth Cohen. Seth, do you want to yeah. take it from here? Sure. Thanks a lot, Abby. And uh, as Abby said, we're live uh, from New York City right now. Uh, at uh, actually in the Javits Center, uh, watching all the booths uh, start to get built and get ready for what we feel is going to be uh, an incredible show uh, for not only us, but uh, as well as uh, our partners as well. Um, as Abby mentioned, I'm the Vice President of Sales uh, for Marketing, uh, and we can't be any more thrilled to have uh, an established uh, relationship, uh, an official relationship uh, with Seagate uh, and um, my, my good friends there. Uh, to take advantage of just the superb technology uh, that Seagate offers uh, in the various different formats uh, that they offer. Uh, we're um, a software, uh, a technologically advanced uh, object-based storage S3 uh, that's looking for a technology superior storage system. Uh, and we have that uh, with, uh, with, with someone like Seagate. So I'll... Uh, let Mark uh, introduce himself. Mark is the manager uh, for uh, one of the managers uh, over at Seagate and uh, thrilled to work with Mark, known Mark a long time uh, and looking forward to continue working with Mark. Mark. Thanks, Seth. Uh, yeah, so as Seth managed, I manage uh, one of the solutions teams here at Seagate. Um, I also am responsible for the m &E vertical um, as far as sales go here at Seagate. Uh, so very excited to be partnering with Periphery. Uh, their, their product is really industry leading and we, we love the, the value add created by the combination of our own proprietary products like our Core Vault um, in combination with uh, Swarm and for that matter, Object Matrix as well. Um, they're both, they're two tremendous products uh, for users who are trying to uh, do object storage, whether it's uh, uh, in, in the form of a, a private cloud or uh, archive or, or whatever the needs are. Great. Thank you, Mark. So uh, we have a little bit of a technical glitch, but what we'll have our next participant, Jonathan Morgan, we'll, we'll just try to share our laptops or be with us here. We are engineers, we're going to fix it on the fly. We are right live in New York City at the NAB show. So things are a little out of plan with the tech tech here, but uh, Jonathan? Yeah, that's fine. Oh, they're good. Hi, um, sorry for the technical glitch, and I'm really glad to be here to talk about the technologies. Obviously, uh, from the point of view of uh, Periphery with their products, with Object Matrix and with Swarm, both being leading uh, object storage technologies. Combined with that Seagate platform is an amazing opportunity to work. So my role in that relationship is as the product and technology um, uh, vice president for Periphery. And very glad to be speaking about that today. So looking forward to the rest of the webinar. Sure, so thank you. Thanks guys for the introductions. So let me just ask uh, back Seth, as in, um, what's your, uh, what are, what are we doing with Seagate? If you can net it out for this audience, um, 
from a GTM perspective, from a growth perspective, what solutions are we bringing to partners and customers together mm -hmm. that, would, that would really help? Sure, uh, it's a great question, uh, Abhi. Uh, and uh, as I uh, foreshadowed before uh, in my comments uh, in introducing Mark, uh, our solution uh, is a software solution. Uh, we do not make hardware, we do not manufacture hardware. Uh, we're in search of a deep, dense product uh, where our partners uh, can go and use it, start using us and using our technologies for their complicated, even simpler workflows for their tier two, tier three, even up to their, uh, as, as they're working towards the cloud. Uh, we need a partner uh, like that uh, to, that we can work with. Um, our products have been traditionally storage uh, agnostic uh, but to work with partners like a Seagate, who is the leader in this marketplace. No one can get to the densities uh, that Seagate can. And they, their unique technology, and I'm sure Mark will talk about it in a few seconds, with Coroval, uh, which has self-healing abilities, really the combination of the solutions that we have here in Periphery in working with a product like Coroval, uh, which is deep, dense self-healing, uh, sets up um, a policy for our end users, specifically in this case, we're here at uh, NAB, we're, we're familiar with the incredibly high densities of the files of the customers uh, that we mutually both work with. They, they need that near term, that near line uh, architecture um, as now uh, everything uh, is, you know, from editing uh, to be able to grab things very quickly to get things back. Um, so the editors uh, can work things uh, to work things across from even a DR perspective uh, that these assets are being protected. Uh, to have a partner like Seagate allows us to reach into that marketplace uh, in conjunction with Seagate to create truly a win-win-win solution uh, for our companies. Uh, and most importantly, we're creating that win for our end users, mm -hmm. our sophisticated as well as our growing uh, end users together. Mark, I don't know if you want to add. That's great. That. Thanks, Seth. Yeah, mm -hmm. go ahead, Mark. Yeah, no, it, it's it, Seth. You really hit the nail on the head uh, with our with our platforms like the Core Vault that that Seth mentioned um, that have uh, that has erasure coding built in, which can reduce both both reduce the compute required for the overall system, as well as provide that self-healing self -healing that Seth mentioned that that mm -hmm. is not available anywhere else unless you're a hyperscaler, because that's really where the technology was taken from, was um, uh, it's what hyperscalers do, and you can now use this in your own infrastructure. Um, so it's really tremendous uh, from that perspective. And combining that with, uh, what what Periphery's products can do um, is really amazing in terms of, again, that ability, as Seth mentioned, to create that tier two, three, four uh, storage, potentially archive. Um, and, and, and with Corvault, what we're seeing even is that um, TCO with a system like that is now rapidly approaching that of traditional tape systems. But with the big advantages of your ability to uh, keep your data online at all times, which enables you to better monetize it uh, and, and not have to wait for things to come back nor to deal with the, the challenges of things like migrations anymore. Mm -hmm. so, it's yeah, thank you. Thanks, Mark. So, um, so Jonathan wanted to learn about your perspective on this combined technology platform that we are building between Core Vault and the periphery line of solutions, if you can yeah, uh, put some absolutely. insights there. I mean, what is the problem we're trying to solve here? And, and when you go back to the customer and you actually have a scalable solution that reserves data with the highest levels, with the least amount of management, that's what object storage is. That's what Core Vault is. That's what bringing them together brings. When we talk about erasure coding, if you know erasure coding, it's going to preserve your data really well. You can do this at the hardware level of Core Vault as well as the software level in terms of Swarm. When you're going to bring down your management costs, what do you do? You, you want to have software to manage that data, to replicate the data, to keep 
the metadata searchable and with the data so it, it can be preserved for the long term in archives and media libraries and uh, nearline workflows and all types of, of object storage basically workflows. And that's what the products coming together bring. You can't have the object storage without the hardware, you can't have the hardware without the software. Marry them together, bring the best of breed together, and that's what makes this uh, whole relationship exciting. Sure, thanks. Uh, thanks, Jonathan. So tell me, you guys, maybe highlight for this audience. I know Seagate is here, I know Periphery is here at the NAB show. Uh, we, we'll start with Seth. Uh, as to what's what are you showcasing? If you can talk about NAB show over the years, mm -hmm. and then what are you showcasing this year, Seth, from uh, your solution stack point of view? Great. Yeah, I'm. You know, first off, uh, you know, for anybody that was at NAB last year, uh, just the sheer volume of that show was uh, impressive. Uh, you could hardly walk the aisles. Uh, this year's show looks even bigger uh, than last year's. Uh, from a square footage standpoint on the entire floor. It is, it is, it is like pre-pandemic uh, kind of uh, show floor that's out there. Um, you know, we just are fresh coming back from IBC. We saw some really cool stuff uh, that I think both of our technologies uh, are going to benefit from, from an AI perspective. Uh, I'm looking forward to seeing more uh, of those uh, type of solutions. Uh, the, uh, the, the whole um, Kubernetes and containerization uh, of products that is going to help us uh, shrink our footprint size while taking advantage of the increased densities uh, that, that Seagate has. Um, I think uh, a lot of this show uh, is going to point towards uh, you know, the rider strike now starting, uh, starting to come to, to, to an end. And um, as everything starts coming back more in, into production, we're going to see uh, an exciting time over the next year, next six months uh, in our industry uh, as a backlog of projects are going to be start done, start, start being completed, uh, and the technologies that both we have, CA has, and our ancillary partners that will help supplement all that. Uh, I hope everyone has a, an opportunity to take advantage of some real leading edge technology that will be showcased at the show to get and accomplish all of that. Sure, thanks, Seth. Uh, Mark, likewise, if you can highlight some of you know your experience here at NAB over the years, and again highlighting some of the sessions, keynote that are uh, things you're looking forward to this year. Absolutely. Uh, I mean, the biggest thing is 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 really as Seth mentioned, the show itself and how it's grown tremendously uh, from when it was. As I've been coming here since when I forget what the show was, what it was called before when NAB bought it, um, but but especially with the hiccup of the pandemic, really coming back and and it was very exciting last year. It had grown tremendously, um, and uh, CCW that was the show. It had originally been the uh, CCW back in the day, and how it's grown since then, um, especially in and with the excitement last year. And I'm I'm really looking forward to this year, um, seeing even more. Uh, growth out of the event, uh, and and really just seeing all the technologies that that will be present, um, and how they can really help uh, increase production, help fulfill that pent up demand that we'll we're all waiting for to be able to be uh, starting to be fulfilled. So mm -hmm. uh, I would say lots, and and especially with the the whole AI component that Seth mentioned. Uh, very interested to see where that goes with all of us. I know we're all very interested in that and how it can improve workflows, uh, especially relative to helping make data more searchable on those large, I mean, as Seth mentioned, high density libraries that, that we have. You got lots of stuff, you need to know what's on there. And, and it seems like AI can really be of great benefit in terms of helping people with that, uh, with knowing what they have, so to speak. So I'd say that's those are probably the biggest things. Thanks, thanks, Mark. So over to Jonathan. So Jonathan, over the one question I had always in mind is, okay, here's you know, NAB show is a media, media and entertainment show, and we have this line of products from Periphery across object metrics and Swarm and 
you know, on the Seagate side, we have this high density next gen hardware. What's the inflection point of all of this when it pertains to our common partners and customers in your more technological vision? Yeah, sure. Um, well, first of all, I mean, we're still in this kind of post pandemic phase and it's boring to say it, but well, it's just a reality that that's the case. We had the pandemic when everybody was, let's build for cloud as quickly as we can. And that, that was good. You know, it really helped to progress that technology stack and bring up uh, some value from the cloud. But now we're in the post pandemic phase. We're now in this hybrid working phase, hybrid um, technology phase. And things that got left behind perhaps for a couple of years are now actually uh, have been worked on for the last couple of years and are now coming to market. So you're seeing AI coming from the cloud environment to the frontline edge and in facility on-prem environments. You're seeing those technologies built as, as Seth quite rightly says on Kubernetes stacks. You're seeing that built with object storage. Why? Because object storage then can be used to pass the data to the cloud and back again without any major transformation needed because they're, they're similar technologies. And therefore, what we're seeing at NAB is a number of products that are hybrid, that are AI on the edge, that are storage and facility, but that is a hybrid workflow that works seamlessly with those cloud workflows that we built up. And we're seeing a right sizing. So we, we had this horrible phrase during uh, a couple of years called cloud first. And what cloud first sometimes meant was the boardroom thinking, if I just say this enough times, then my, my business model is going to be right. And you had your technologists go in, no, we need time to first bite. We need bandwidth. We need um, uh, proper uh, pricing models that, that actually make sense. And so what I'm excited at with NAB uh, New York is more of these technologies coming to the forefront. Mm -hmm. OK, and it looks like. Um, Sorry, go ahead, I was Mark. just hitting Jonathan's point. Please go. Uh, and I think the other side of that cloud first was now all the CFOs have, have been getting the bills from that cloud first experiment, I'll say. And, and so I think, and that's part of the excitement of the partnership between our companies is yeah, that it yeah. really allows uh, a great platform or creates a great platform for companies to repatriate a lot of that data that they sent up uh, to the cloud uh, or to, to move towards that hybrid workflow that really makes a lot more financial sense uh, potentially than, than what where they have been, I'll say, renting space from someone else for their data um, and, and paying a lot to get it back. Sure. Thanks, Mark. Thanks for that ad. So looks like great partnership out in the horizon right now. A lot of work for both companies to do great synergy in the technological landscape. So I'll um, go around once one more time with, with the team here to have any final takeaways or thoughts that didn't leave the audience with, Seth. Sure. Uh, the, you know, thanks again, Avi. And again, thanks to everyone who took the time uh, to sit through this uh, or will listen to it uh, a little bit later. Um, we're incredibly excited about the show. We've got some great announcements. Uh, aside from showing off our synergies uh, with uh, Seagate and what we can do, uh, come please visit our booth at 355, I believe it is. Uh, and uh, we look forward to seeing you know, new friends, old friends. Uh, this is, uh, you know, I, one of the things I love about this show is uh, not only uh, the ability to be able to see all the cool technologies that Jonathan and, and Mark and I were talking about, but also seeing some old friends and looking forward to making new friends. Um, hope to see you um, all soon, Mark. Uh, and likewise, yes, absolutely. Um, I would say, yeah, if you're in the New York area or, or going to be here for the show, please come by and visit. Uh, we have lots of exciting stuff to talk about uh, in addition to this, but, but we also have uh, products that can help you move that data um, into uh, a, a swarm or object matrix system from remote locations. Uh, we have we have a cloud as well that that can help supplement and and provide that that cloud backbone to a on-prem uh or or i should say owned uh object matrix or again a swarm system to to really create that hybrid strategy for you so looking forward to really talking about 
what you're trying to do and, and how all together we can really help provide a great solution for you. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to the whole show. Um, to be honest, that's 20 years in the industry. This is my very first NAB in New York. But I know I'm going to see some friends that I've made all over the world with the industry and looking forward to showing them exactly why this combined solution brings down costs, why it allows scale with manageability. As Mark quite rightly says, we can manage data all the way from cloud and back again with this solution. And also uh, the AI side and also Periphery has some exciting announcements during the show that we will be very pleased to share with everybody. Thank you, gentlemen. So um, let me just make sure we don't have any questions. And are, are there any questions on the line? Um, so far, we don't have any questions. I guess people are setting up a lot of booths and all that in the NAB show today. Um, but again, uh, this is Abhi. We are going to conclude this webinar. Thank you, Seth. Thank you, Jonathan. Thank you, Mark Anderson from Seagate. Uh, we look forward to have a great partnership with you, with you, Seagate, and really look forward to change the landscape, really solve the problems with the customers that they go through with your high energy, next gen, high density core vault, and our solutions that we bring to market, which are AI powered, intelligent uh, storage solutions that help your hardware and work together to get great to get great solutions in the marketplace. But with that in mind, since there are no questions, I'm going to end the webinar. Thanks for thanks to all the audience for um, for listening in. If you have any questions, visit us in our periphery booth. We are here next three days, uh, booth number 335. 355, sorry, 355, <laughs> and uh, also at the Seagate booth, and you can find us in person. We can definitely talk, understand your uh, situation, and try to help out. Thank you from all of us here at NBI Show. Great. Thanks a lot. Bye. Bye, all.